Welcome to another episode of DTV's Getting to Know. This week we've got Jack Watts in the hot seat. Watts, here. great to have you here. Thanks, Al Mac. What have you brought in for show and tell? I've actually brought him a trusty iPod. Um, you know, it gets me through a lot of hard times and uh, yeah, love love my music. What's your favourite sort of music? Um, probably a bit more relaxed style. Um, you know, the Ben Harpers, uh, the Jack Johnsons, that kind of thing. What's here? We've got some questions from our Facebook, Twitter and Instagram fans for you. Michael would like to know, what made you choose AFL over basketball? Ah, oh, g'day Michael. Um, Good question. I think uh, it came to a point where um, basketball obviously took up a lot of time and then um, if you really want to get serious about it, you've got to go overseas. And um, when I was sort of 15, 15 years old, I don't really think I was ready to do that just at that stage. So I um, wanted to hang around, you know, still go to school and hang around with, with my mates and, uh, and that kind of thing. So, yeah, it probably drew, drew me towards footy a bit more. Good choice. Well, we're glad you picked football. Mm. Uh, Glenn would like to know, who did you bat for as a kid and why? Glenno. Um, I went for Sydney as a kid because I was born there. Um, so, yeah, supported the Swans and Paul Kelly and Plugger and that kind of thing. But uh, the whole family went for St Kilda and we watched the 97 prelim, I think it was, and the Saints, they were down, so Swans v Saints, and um, Swans were up by about 30 points at three-quarter time, and I was laughing as a little kid, and the Saints ended up winning winning the game, came back, and my grandpa bloody gave it to me, and I wasn't a happy little kid, so I said, stuff that, I'm not going for the Swans anymore, and just went for pretty much whoever was winning. And that was a good choice in the end. You were always happy from there on. From then on, I was a pretty happy kid, so it worked out well for me. Watsy, your mum and dad were so kind to send in a photo of you as a child. Oh, wow. Here you are. <laughs> What's with She's the good looking kid, huh? Well, I think it's up for, nego- <laughs> for negotiation. You're not uh, so impressed here. Yeah, something must be going on behind camera that I'm not too happy about, but... Uh... And is this your sister with you? It is, yeah, yeah. That's Steph, my middle sister, so she's uh, a couple of years older than me. Excellent. Cute little kid, huh? Yeah, pretty cute. And as a child, what's the, um, you always seem to be surrounded by females, and there's still a fe- few mm. female fans out there which are quite fond of you. Interesting. They'll take you back to grade four, your first girlfriend, Ruby. Oh. It's Ruby's birthday. Watsi is really excited. But first of all, he has to go to basketball training. Yep. It's 30 degrees. Mm. It's really hot. You've trained hard. And you're feeling a bit sick. You're, and your mum says, oh, maybe you shouldn't go to Ruby's birthday. But you say, I'm going. So your mum's driven you to Ruby's house. You're sitting out the front, composing yourself. You've got mm. the present. You walk in. Well, get the to present. the lounge room. Mm. She, he's nervous, but excited. Finally sees Ruby and vomits everywhere. <laughs> what a grand entrance. How did Ruby take oh, it? Oh, goodness, yeah. That wasn't one of my finest moments. No. Um, I put a lot of effort into it as well. So, you know, back then, year four, I went out and bought a $35 necklace. Expensive. And, you know, that was sort of a couple of weeks worth of pocket money. Um, and, yeah, I went around there to drop it off. I thought I was being a pretty good boyfriend sort of thing. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, all over the uh, the laundry floor, and I tried to get into the uh, laundry and vomit in the sink, but I didn't make it. My and... luck. And do you still see Ruby today, or is it all uh, up? Well, to this day, that's actually been my longest standing relationship. Well, there you um, go. So, um, She's forgiving. She is, but uh, I haven't seen her lately, so I, I should catch up with her. Great. Shout out to mm. Ruby. Ruby, uh, yeah, I miss you, and uh, hopefully we'll catch up soon. Another episode of Getting to Know, very entertaining. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed getting to know Watsi and his past love life. You can tune into our Facebook, Twitter feeds, and Instagram feeds during the week to ask our next player on getting to know their questions. Thanks, Al Mac. Thanks for coming. <laughs>